Hey, welcome back to Makery Online. I'm Mr. Robert, and today we are going to be working on finger hockey table. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the build. Go ahead and click up on your internet browser, go up to your favorites, find SketchUp, you click on it, let it load. Go to create new, feet and inches. Let's go ahead and get rid of her. So we're gonna make a couple rectangles real quick. Let's do our first one, hit R for rectangle. Okay, this one's gonna be two by 20. Answer, go ahead and zoom in. O for orbit. P for push pull, bring it up three quarters of an inch. That's three forward slash four. Enter, space bar. We're gonna make this a component, so we gotta click to the, from the left. Hold the click button down, left click button down, drag it to the right. Make sure it covers the entire shape. Release, it should highlight blue. Hit the letter G, and we're gonna type in right left. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to O for orbit. We're going to stand this up on the side, zoom in, M for move. Go to one of these crosses. The circle here should be green and the dotted line should be red. You're going to click on one of the crosses, move it up to the lines blue. Okay. Space bar, O for orbit. Zoom out. M for move, and let's move this out of the way. Perfect. Um, let's do another rectangle here. R for rectangle. Bring it out. This one's going to be 2 by 15. Enter. 2 comma 1 5. P for push full. Bring it up 3 forward slash four, that's three quarters of an inch. Space bar, highlight this one, start from the left hand side, bring the box all the way over your shape, release the button, it should turn blue, G, top, and bottom, this will be the name of this one. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we are going to orbit, O for orbit, go to the side of it, and we're gonna stand this one also up on the side. And for move, go to the cross, bring it up to the line, dotted line turns blue, click, and that one's done. Okay, so we're gonna move this off to the side over here. We're gonna bring this one on over, and click on that. M for move, bring it over here. We are going to go to the top of our rectangle shape here. Go to this cross and turn it sideways like this. Okay, now we're gonna orbit and then make everything easy. We're gonna bring this down and put it where the blue, red, and green line meet. All right, perfect. Now we gotta do some measurements on this thing. So space bar, double click into it. You should have this dotted line around it. T for tape measure, let's measure over um, I think it is two and three quarters of an inch. That's two, space bar, three, forward slash, four, enter. And then we're gonna move up half inch. One, forward slash, two, enter. And then do the same measurement from the other side. Bring it down. And then it's two, space, three, forward slash, four, enter. All right, so now we made some intersecting lines. Go ahead and zoom in on one. I'm gonna zoom on this back one first. So on the bit the circle, put C on my keyboard for circle. Get the circle over the first intersecting line. Zoom in. Click, bring it out. Type in one forward slash eight. Hit enter. All right, I'm gonna zoom out again. Go to the next one, do the same thing. Zoom in. 
click where the lines intersect, bringing out one eighth, one forward slash eight, enter, and I have my circles now. I'm gonna zoom out. I hit O for orbit. Okay, now hit P for push pull. We wanna make sure just the circle highlights, click on it, and we're gonna move it to the back of the shape. You should see a square box light up and it say on edge. Once it says that, click on it, and you just made a hole through this shape here. Go down to the other circle, make sure it's just the circle highlighted, click on it, move it back, same thing, on edge, it should turn to a square, click, made another hole. Hit spacebar, click out of this, I'm sorry, nope, you gotta click back into it. We gotta erase, erase these uh, guidelines. So erase this one, erase this one, and erase that one. Now space bar, click out of it. Now we're gonna make a copy of this, okay? But before we do that, we're gonna move this little one over. We're gonna zoom in to the edge, click the back corner, and move it to the back corner of here okay then we're going to zoom out now we're going to make a copy of this one so how we're going to do that is you're going to use the move tool okay and down at the bottom down here it should tell you how to let me select this select move tool okay so down here it should tell you how to make a copy mine says options equals toggle copy so yours might say shift, your might say control, command, whatever it says right here before the equal sign, that's what you're gonna push, okay? So I'm gonna go back to this back corner. I'm gonna hold my options button down. And move it over, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is hit the left arrow key so it locks it into place here, all right? Before I let this go. And so move it all the way over to the edge. It, I'm gonna put it right there, and I am done. I can zoom in, make sure I'm lined up really good. O for orbit, it looks good, perfect. Zoom out, space bar. Now I'm gonna click on this back piece or this top piece. Okay, hit M again. I make another copy. I'm gonna go to this corner, hold options, bring it down. All right, on the orbit, O for orbit. Zoom out a little bit, then zoom in. Put my cursor where I want it to zoom in at. Zoom in, click on this corner here and bring it in. All right, space bar, zoom out. All right, so this is where I'm at now. I need to make one more copy of this one. So go ahead and hit the M button. Hold down my options key or your shift key or your command key. All right. So I made a last copy of this. What I'm going to do now is make this piece unique. All right. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to hit space bar, right click, and make unique. Right here. Once I do this, I can change this to whatever I want and it won't affect any of these. So now I'm meant to get double click inside of this. You should get this dotted box around it. Hit tape measure. Start from the left side, go to the right side. There should be a green line. And I'm going to type in uh, six and three eighths. Six space three forward slash eight. Enter. And then I go to the right side and do the exact same thing six space three four slash eight enter and then from the bottom of it i'm gonna go up three quarters of an inch and that's three forward slash four enter all right now i'm gonna hit the l button on the keyboard i'm gonna start on the left hand side at the bottom where the dotted line meets the shape click go up to where the dotted lines intersect click again move to the right along the dotted line to where it intersects again, click, and then go back down, click. All right, hit O for orbit, turn it sideways a little bit, P for push pull. Now this tiny little rectangle that we just made, we're gonna highlight that, click on it, 
and move it back again to the sh the square shows up and it says on edge click and now you made a hole we're gonna hit e for erase and erase these guidelines okay spacebar click on the outside of this you can orbit and now you see I have a hole here now hit O for orbit we need to find uh, 10 inches the halfway mark of this side here with the boards with the holes in them okay so this is what we're gonna do we hit tape measure zoom in find the midpoint right there and bring it down it should be a red line and we're gonna hit type in one zero enter all right now that should be the exact middle of this box so now we're going to hit the M button on the keyboard. We're going to zoom into this shape a little bit. Now we should hover over the top. And once this midpoint and top bottom pops up, you're going to click on that point and drag it over to where the dotted line is. And once it says midpoint and left, right, you're going to click. And that's going to put it on in dead center of that. Hit spacebar, push the E button to get rid of the dotted line. O for orbit to go to the front. And now we're going to put a floor on this. How are we going to do that? We are going to orbit to the bottom. Hit R for rectangle. We're going to click on this front of this shape here. We're going to go to the opposite side to the back and click on that one. Click P for push pull and bring it down. We're going to type in one forward slash four, enter, hit space bar, O for orbit, and bring it back up. Now we have to do something here so we can make the floor a component. So now you're going to put space bar <clears throat> once you see the top of this, and you're going to hold shift down, and you're going to hold shift and click on one two the left and right side the top the middle and the bottom okay release shift hit the m key on your keyboard and move this all to the side if you clicked on the bottom one by accident just redo it and make sure you just click those five boards to move them out of the way you can hit spacebar click away from it now we're going to turn this into a component uh, you might have to orbit it a little bit so it'll fit inside the square. Click somewhere off to the left-hand side. Highlight it. Make sure the entire thing is inside your big square you're making. Release. It should turn blue. Hit the letter G. And then name this floor. Hit OK. All right. Space bar. Zoom out. You can highlight all of this. Hit M on the keyboard and bring it back to this corner. Hit spacebar, click out of it. Okay, now this is where we're gonna stop for today. Go ahead and go up to save. Click on SketchUp. Type in finger, F-I-N-G-E-R, hockey, H-O-C-K-E-Y, and game, G-A-M-E. Go over to save here. It'll say saving, and once it says saved, you can exit the file. Go ahead and exit, and that will be it for today. I am Mr. Robert, and I'm out.